Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing another app. This one's called Quizlet. Quizlet is an app that basically has a lot of features to help you to study. And I feel like this app has been mentioned in school by some teachers or even students that have used it as a study method. I didn't use this app until this year and I feel like it has definitely helped me improve in learning vocabulary words in my Spanish class. So let's get started with this app. I'm going to share my screen to my right or my left. Um, so let's get started. When you first open the app, this is what I see, this home page right here. You have your study sets that you are a part of. And then you also have your classes that you are a part of. You have four buttons on the bottom. Home, search. On this one, you can actually, I just searched up math. Apparently, that's the last thing I searched up. So you can search up study sets and relates to math, classes, users. So let's say I would like to search up oceans as my study set. And oceans would pop up. Um, for the third button, that's where you can create a lot of things like your study sets, your folders, and you can even create a class. Over here, that's your personal private account. You can log out, change your um, username, I think. Okay, you can only change your username one time and you can um, email and everything and your password, you can log out. The one thing that I really like about this app is when you practice a study set, it gives you five different methods on the app to just practice it in general. You have learn, which is just this. So you're like a skirt. Oh, what did I click? Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Sin embargo, um, however, you know, just keep going through it. That's learn. Flashcards, your normal flashcards would just be like, I know this, tap, tap. I want to study again, something like that. Write would be where you would write. Um, and then if you, let's say I don't know, you would say don't know and then it would correct it for you and then you're done and then you would have to enter it again match is basically just a game where you would do like match that match that that oh why did that sometimes i will click the wrong things test is basically i got a 90 on my last test you can even like edit like what kind of test you want to take like you want question count how much instant feedback answer with question type that's what i really like how you can kind of make the test into what your actual test um would be like look like so you can start test with all these notifications on and it would look a little bit different on a website but on my phone it looks like this you can, I'm going to end test. And then you can also hear the ¿Qué words. Celebras? I'm going to turn what up all the way. Celebras? What do you celebrate? You can hear it in, in like the word itself and then the definition. Since it's vocab words in Spanish, the first one's going to be in Spanish, obviously. The second one's going to be in English. Then you can star them even. And once you star them, they would... It automatically creates like a study one and these are terms that you need to study more that you feel like you need help with. That's what I really like about um, Quizlet. Something that I necessarily don't like about Quizlet, it doesn't specify the grade level on which that quiz is made on. So let's say I want oceans for uh, my age. So eighth grade. This one doesn't say what, I mean, you can kind of figure it out. Like maybe this isn't exactly eighth grade, 
but it doesn't tell you what grade level it's for. So let's say you're doing, you search up math, quadratics. You want quadratics level in eighth grade, which is just like graphing and identifying which one is one, which one isn't. But it would rather give you maybe ones higher in level in like algebra two or something. So I wish um, this app did have a like a filtration system where it could, you could enter the number of words that you need to study or um, you know the grade level or like just in general elementary middle or high school but overall I think this app has definitely helped me learn my vocabulary words for Spanish even in my ILA where we need to learn my roots my suffixes my prefixes definitely helped me with that and I've started seeing like I can memorize things a lot faster and in a more fun way too instead of just going over my boring flashcards sitting at a desk I can um, utilize the technology that we all have at hand um, to just go on Quizlet it's absolutely free available on iOS and Android and there's also a website to this that um, I will link down below so you can go check that out. Um, uh, Quizlet, like I said, it's a very nice app. And I think it's a really good study thing that we should not be taking for granted. And I feel like if it's there, we should be able to use it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.